Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to study about excitation of the rods. Okay, so this is a very unique topic in the term that most of the cells in our body actually gets depolarized to get stimulated. Most of the cells in our body produce their action potential by depolarization. But in case of rods, but in case of rods, the action potential is generated not by depolarization but by hyperpolarization okay so this line i have is, i have taken from guyton rod receptors potential is hyperpolarizing not depolarizing this is a very important line and i have taken it from guyton okay so before we understand how actually this happens we must know the normal anatomy of the of one rod cell see this is one rod cell this is the nucleus this particular part is known as the outer part or outer segment and this particular part is known as the inner segment the one which is near to the nucleus is known as inner segment and the other one is known as the outer segment in the inner segment there is sodium potassium ATPase which throws sodium out and takes potassium in also in the inner segment there is potassium leaky channels there is potassium leaky channels okay and in the outer segment there is sodium channel in the outer segment there is sodium channel but these sodium channels are not sodium leaky channels these sodium channels these sodium channels are not sodium leaky channels these sodium channels are cgmp gated sodium channels okay so since these are leaky channels these are potassium leaky channels which means that every time every time these leaky channels will be open and potassium will come out of the cell these put these channels will work all the time but since this is a cgmp gated channel which means that these channels will not always work okay these channels will work in a particular condition and will not work in a particular condition what are the situation if cgmp is high then the channel works then the channel is open and if CGMP is low, then the channel will close. So this is very important about sodium CGMP gated sodium channel. Now since this is a potassium leaky channel, so obviously you can understand that from where to where potassium will leak. Since potassium is high inside the cell, as you can see, sodium potassium ATPase is putting so potassium in so potassium is high inside the cell and less outside the cell which means potassium will automatically leak out of the cell okay and since sodium is less inside the cell and high outside the cell here you can see sodium potassium ATPase is pushing sodium out of the cell so of course sodium is more outside the cell and sodium is less inside the cell which means CGMP gated sodium channel when it will be open it will put sodium inside the cell okay so this is the normal functioning of a rod cell now as you can see over here that more sodium more potassium ions are going out of the cell and less sodium ions are coming inside the cells okay so you can easily say that more positive ions is going out of the cell and less positive ion is coming into the cell which means that the resting membrane potential rmp of the rod cell will be somewhat negative okay and what is the value of rmp the value of rmp of a rod is minus 40 millivolts okay in here the resting means that in dark okay all these things all this diagram i have told you in this diagram whatever i have told you is an actual situation what happens in the rods when it is in dark or when light is not falling in the retina now let's see what will happen when light falls on the rods okay so in this diagram i have drawn the rods in a bigger size just to explain things so that everything can be included all explanations can be included uh, this doesn't mean that when light falls on the rod they increase in size okay so don't get confused so what will happen when light falls on the rods see normally rhodopsin is present in the outer segment of the rods normally they are present every time whether it is dark or light when light falls on the rhodopsin when light falls off the rhodopsin 
the rhodopsin gets degenerated okay when degenerated rhodopsin is formed it will stimulate a protein named known as g protein transducin g protein transducin now this g protein transducin will further stimulate a protein known as cgmp phosphodiesterase phosphodiesterase now as you can see in the name only phosphodiesterase which means that it will break the phosphorus bond in the cgmp okay so what will this enzyme do this enzyme will convert cgmp break the bond of phosphate and it convert it to 5 gmp so as you can see when light falls rhodopsin degenerates g protein transducin stimulates this will further stimulate cgmp phosphodiesterase and this will convert cgmp to 5 gmp due to this the cgmp levels will decrease and we already know that when cgmp levels will decrease this will block this will block the cgmp gated sodium channels this will block the cgmp gated sodium channels so sodium will not enter the cell sodium will not enters the cells okay and here the, uh, there is potassium leaky channels i have already told you that potassium leaky channels work always all the time irrespective of light and dark so potassium will leak out okay so potassium will obviously as earlier leak out so here you can see that potassium sodium ions are not getting in okay sodium ions are positively charged ions cannot come in and the positively charged ions are going out also due to this when in light when light falls on the rods due to this what happens there is more negative charge inside the cell there is more negative charge inside the cell okay and the minus 40 millivolt rmp of the rods go to minus 70 millivolt and when it reaches minus 70 millivolt it gets hyperpolarized and signals are transmitted from the rods to the brain so this is how actually how rod receptor potential is hyperpolarizing and not depolarizing this is the basic concept of excitation of the rods the main thing was CGMP decrease due to rhodopsin degeneration and due to decreasing CGMP these channels get blocked but these channels as usual are open so positive ions go out of the cell negative ions and uh, positive ions cannot come in so there is the net negative charge inside the cell more negative charge the minus 40 millivolt will convert to minus 70 millivolt and get hyperpolarized and then signals are transmitted okay so in light when light falls the potential is generated through hyperpolarization so this is the concept of excitation of rods and if you like that video then uh, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching the video